this is just a quick video uh, on a couple things I've, I learned. Um, you know, I've been farting around with computers for a long time and on the internet and whatnot. I'm not a, I'm not a web developer. I'm not a professional. I'm an amateur. But uh, this stuff's pretty cool. You know, for people who don't know it, it's about what you can do in your browsers if you're trying to learn uh, web page development. Um, I'll start out with Firefox here. If you press the F10 button on your keyboard, you'll get a, a menu that comes up right above where my cursor is, right next to the Firefox drop-down thing here. Um, now you can, you'll, you'll get a menu, you can go into web development, um, you know, you can get page information. It's not as, uh, as in-depth from what I've seen as, uh, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. I think Google Chrome has the best, um, interface that I've seen. Um, Oprah, I can't seem to find it on the, uh, Oprah operator, Oprah browser, um, but a couple of, uh, a couple of keyboard shortcuts, like in Firefox here, like I said, press F10, you'll get a menu that comes up here, uh, you know, tools, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can't press it now because my, uh, the screen capture will, will, uh, stop recording. Um, F3, if you press the F3 key, it brings up a text search, um, down here at the bottom, so you can search for, uh, particular word or whatnot. Um, that's, that's, you get that from your F3 button. Okay, let's go with Internet Explorer. If you press F12, okay, you'll get this interface right here that shows you, like I say, anything you want to know about, uh, about how a page is laid out, about the tags, you know, everything. You know, it'll tell you the HTML, the CSS, I mean, it, it just has tons of tools to, to learn, um, you know, so you can, so you can learn web layout a lot easier. Um, it's a real nice interface. Um, let's see, and Internet Explorer, as with all of them, if you F11, you maximize your screen. Um, for some reason with the recorder on, it's not doing it, I don't know why. But, uh, like I say, the F12 will give you that, that, uh, the layout, the web layout. Um, there's also a text search button. Let's see, which, which one is it here? I should have wrote, wrote all this crap down. F4 gives you drop down up there. F3, okay, it's F3 too. It has that search function in here that opens up at the top here. Um, so, but I think the F12 is the is the coolest thing you can go uh, if you want to find images. Um, you can go right to the images URL, and you know, you'll just have the image on the page, and that way you can download the image and save it. Um, Chrome here. This is Google Chrome. If you press F12. This is the uh, interface you get here, which, like I said, I, I think it's a little better than Internet Explorer's. Um, you have uh, a lot more functionality. Like if you press this magnifying glass here, it'll, it'll uh, show you the elements on the page. You just go up, it'll show you your div, you know, your fonts, images, I mean, anything. So, really cool way to, to figure out how people have laid pages out. Um, it'll show you the script, you know, the, all the scripts they use, blah, 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 this, that, the other thing. Um, Again, F11 will maximize the screen. It'll take out the, the top and the bottom, you know, just full full screen image of your uh, web browser. Um, the text search on Google Chrome is, let's see, F5 on these pages reloads them, um, which is the text. I know Chrome has a has a search function also. Let me close up this F12. F, okay, F3. F3, you get your search drop down up here in the upper right side. Um, let me try maximizing with that F12 closed. Oh, there you go. Okay. F11. See, it maximizes the whole screen. It does it on any of the browsers. Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. Um, so, it's just something cool. Something, uh, something to check out. Um, like I say, Google Chrome and Internet Explorer F12. Firefox is F10. And it really doesn't show you a whole lot of Firefox. Um, and Oprah, or however you pronounce that, is, uh, I, I don't know about that one. Um, I've looked at it, I can't to see anything but I like Google Chrome I've been using that a lot lately um, it gives you a lot it has automatic spell check in it you know this that um, it does freeze up fairly often at least once a day it'll freeze up on me so anyways that's about it alright see ya